In the introduction to the play The Glass Menagerie, which takes place in St. Louis, Missouri in 1937, Tom, the narrator, now a merchant sailor, tells the story of the last few months he spent with his mother and sister before he left them. He transitions from narrator to his role as Tom the son and enters the apartment from the fire escape when his mother Amanda calls him to dinner. Soon after, Amanda discovers, to her shocked dismay, that her fragile, introverted daughter Laura has dropped out of business school. In the rising action, Amanda worries about her family's future if Laura cannot work and tells Laura they will find her an appropriate husband. Tom and Amanda get into a heated fight about the ways they treat each other and their expectations. Amanda accuses him of lying about his evening activities, which have been escapist trips to the movies. Tom calls her an ugly, babbling old witch and accidentally shatters some of Laura's glass animals on his way out. The following morning, Tom apologizes to his mother. Amanda admits that her love for her children has made her anxious. Amanda asks Tom to find a man for Laura to marry before he leaves, and appalled, Tom storms out. But soon, Tom mentions he invited his co-worker to dinner for the next evening. Amanda is ecstatic, but when Laura discovers the guest is Jim O'Connor, the boy she secretly had a crush on in high school, her anxiety escalates until she's physically ill. Under Amanda's orders, Laura answers the door before rushing from the room. The men go to the fire escape to smoke. Jim details his plans to move up in the world. Tom says he's joined the Merchant Marines and shows Jim the receipt for his union dues paid with money for the family's electric bill. Amanda hosts, wearing her inappropriate and out of touch old ball gown. After dinner, the electricity flickers and goes out. Amanda realizes Tom has not paid the electric bill and scolds him. Jim's gregariousness relaxes Laura and they reminisce about high school. Jim remembers nicknaming her Blue Roses, but not her leg brace, a result of pleurosis, reassuring her everyone has differences and not to allow her slight disability to destroy her confidence. She shows him her glass menagerie, in particular, the unicorn. When they dance, the unicorn falls off the table and its horn breaks. In the climax of the play, Jim kisses Laura, but then quickly reveals he's engaged and then leaves. But before he does, in the falling action, Laura gives Jim the broken unicorn. Amanda accuses Tom of tricking and embarrassing her, knowing Jim was engaged. He denies it and then leaves for good to follow his dreams. In the resolution of the play, Tom delivers his final remarks as the narrator. He never found contentment because he could never ever be free of his emotional ties to his sister Laura. Laura blows out the candles in the apartment to end the play.